Nate Silver, of course, does 538. It's a blog that's on New York Times now. He analyzes polls. Uh, I largely uh, relied on him. I looked at many other polls for many other sites, Real Clear Politics, etc., uh, and the polls as they came out individually. And but he, this is his job, right? And he puts them together. He factors in a historical context, etc., and he gives you a sense of where the elections stand. He's very good at his job. He got 49 out of 50 states last election. That's why he got a lot of credibility. And of course, this time around, he nailed the election, got the exact right number of electoral votes, had been saying all along that President Obama stands an excellent chance of winning, and he was right. Now, before the election, during the heat of the campaign, Politico started putting out articles about, I don't know about this Nate Silver guy, one-time wonder, if Romney wins, forget about it. And they were totally flummoxed, as was Joe Scarborough at math. They're like, what is this guy doing? He's like voodoo. It's like math. What is it? I don't understand. To me, the whole time I was like, what is there not to understand? You read the poll, you put the polls together, there's your average, right? It was amazing to me. Now, to Scarborough's credit, I was hounding him about this, and he did actually finally apologize to Nate Silver. That's good. Politico, not so much. So Nate Silver is actually on with Bill Simmons, great sports analyst, and he says this about Politico. Because Politico is, is uh, you know, I mean, they've admitted it's like who won the day kind of thing, yeah. right? Um, they're trying to cover it like it's sports, but not in an intelligent way yeah. at all, right? And, they're, and they, they want to create noise, basically, right? Their whole thing is you have to have a lead story about some gaffe that some candidate made on the campaign trail. Nailed it. Man, that was pretty devastating. Not in an intelligent way, just a bunch of noise. All they care about is the stupid gaffes. I mean, that was like a suplex, and then off the top rope, and then you take off the armband, and then you drop the elbow. But he's not even done yet. I love the second part even more. What was remarkable to me is that you had you had some like journalist for um, for Politico or something, right? Who like sent the tweet out like all Nate's doing is averaging polls and counting electoral votes, right? Yeah, that's the secret sauce, and it's like. Well, yeah, and the fact that you can't comprehend that very basic thing, right, is, yeah. you know, that says more about you than, than about me. Oh, that was devastating. That, he just smashed the coconut over their head. That was a rowdy, rowdy Piper move, man. They're still trying to recover from that. That's absolutely true. That's what we've been saying the whole time. Look, it's not rocket science. You average them, right? And in so many of the articles, they say, well, the national polls, uh, Obama and, and Romney seem neck and neck. You cover politics for a living and you're not aware that the electoral college is how we decide the presidency and that the swing states is what matters. So they could be tied all they like, and which, by the way, they were not tied in the popular vote. <laughs> President Obama won it by several percentage points. But even if they were, the polls in Ohio, Iowa, Nevada, I said those are the ones that matter. They're like, oh, I don't, mm, I don't get it. Well, then, then that says a lot about you, that you don't understand politics when your whole job is to cover politics. So those elbows from Nate Silver on top of Politico's head were well-deserved.